What's up everyone? Today I want to redo a couple of my videos and put them into one video as I am still learning and trying to make the best content as I possibly can for you guys and as I learn new things my videos will hopefully get better and you guys will enjoy them more uh, or if you don't you will start to enjoy them. Um, Part of this video will be about the new user interface and another part of this video will be about how to log into Battlelog the old way. And for me, after using the UI a couple of days, I realized that it was pretty much a hot steaming pile of dog shit outside. Pretty much. Go figure, they gave us another pile of dog shit. One thing I remember is reading when they were talking about rolling out the new user interface is that you could disable the UI in Origin. Well, you can't. Go figure, they lied to us again. There's been a lot of problems throughout Battlefield 4 since the UI rollout. And some of the problems, to list them, server stability is complete utter shit now. There's horrible, horrible hit reg or hit detection, net code, whatever the hell you want to call it, it's horrible. When I'm playing now, uh, I get, I always have a server um, air icon in the top right. It's red, and it has the little server box on there. Um, I always have that now. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, and it's getting pretty annoying that EA and DICE would do that just to force people to check out Battlefield 1. That's basically what they're doing. Um, some of the other problems are people can't log into their game. They can't load the game. Their game crashes when they join a server. Their game just crashes, period. Um, that That's just some of them that I have been told about or I have read in the Battlefield forums. Uh, one thing we can do to solve a problem and to piss them off like they have pissed the Battlefield community off is not to buy anything from EA. No Battlefield 1, no Battlefield 4, no premium, no battle packs, no weapon packs, nothing. Uh, I'm sure they don't care a word that I'm saying because I'm a small YouTuber but maybe one day my videos will be big and I'll be a big YouTuber and my input with what the community tells me will be actually worth something in the future so we never know uh, another thing is that they make 1.3 billion dollars a year in extra content revenue that is their profit right there the extra content is their profit so if we stop buying battle packs premium weapon kit unlocks so let's say for an example I just bought the game and I want all the weapons that someone who's been playing for four years well I can spend fifteen to twenty dollars and I can bypass the ranking system and unlock every single weapon if I pay money uh, that's that's the profit is stuff like that that's where they make all of their money from so if we stop buying that and I'm pretty sure I just said this if we stop buying all that they will start listening to us because that's their profit so enough of the ranting and raving let's figure out how to log in to battle log so we can all start enjoying Battlefield again. So what you do is you open your browser. And then once you open your browser, you type in battlelog.battlefield.com. And then you log in. You put in your email or your account name and your password. And then boom, voila. You now have Battlelog bag. Except you have to go to battlelog.battlefield.com every single time you want to play other than that it's not that it's not really that big of a deal 
It's just EA trying to force people to buy more stuff. That is all. And one thing I was wanting to ask some of the subscribers that I have now. If any of you speak another language, and I know some of you do, uh, and you feel the, the urge to translate some of my videos, or ones that you feel that other people that speak your language or a different language would understand it and be able to learn something from my video uh, I greatly appreciate it as the only other languages I know is cuss words other than English English is my uh, primary language um, so if I can get help with that I'd appreciate it I will enable community captions so you guys will be able to translate my videos uh, another thing that I was wanting to add to this video is I will be uploading every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. That's Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Again, that's Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. They will be scheduled uploads, so I won't miss any day. And that will be starting this Monday on the 10th. April 10th will be the day I start uploading every single day, Monday through Friday. And the videos will be published at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. 